Now, ever since social media came into our lives, cameras have had a whole new purpose. Back in our parents' days, they used to film us as babies. They used to film the family. So when we grow up, we'll have a memory to cherish. Nowadays, it's just rubbing the things you do, unnecessary things on people's faces. People go to Starbucks, they post a picture of their drink with their name on the drink. I don't know how they expect us to react like, wow, the Starbucks employee knows how to fucking spell a name. Wow, you had coffee this morning? Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Oh, you had the matcha latte americano espresso with 8 ounces of cum inside it? That's so fucking cool. We got a woman posting a picture of a big bouquet of flowers that their boyfriend or husband gave it to them. Like, bro, go thank him. Go give him a sloppy toppy 9000 or something. Why are you sharing it with us? I can guarantee you we do not care. Maybe women care about it a little bit and then they go to their man and they're like, where's my flowers? Look at their relationship. He got her a flower. Do you even love me? And that's one of the causes. That's how my last relation, long-term relationship ended. And that's what it leads to a lot of divorces. We got people going to festivals or parties and filming themselves. They give the camera to their friend, like, film it, film it, film it quick. What the fuck do you want us to react to that? Oh my God, you are a fun person. Wow. You like, you know how to have fun. Oh my God, I wish I was you. And I'm not gonna be a hypocrite about it. I used to post this kind of shit when Instagram first came out and on Facebook as well. Pictures of my bike and me riding at 4 a.m. playing music at the background. Yeah, this picture wasn't my proudest moment anyways and when it comes to social media tons of influencers do dumb shit that we covered on this channel and for the upcoming influencers they do tons of dumb shit as well to think outside the box and break the algorithm because if you want to break the algorithm in 2024 you gotta do shit outside the box and for today's video that's exactly what happened to this woman she wanted to get a viral clip of herself taking a selfie while a train passes really really close to her and she thought she could get away with it but little did she know she was going to be someone else's viral clip woman tragically struck and killed by a train while trying to take a selfie <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all I can show you. I'm not risking this whole thing. I already have a community guideline strike warning from YouTube. If you want to watch the whole clip of her absolutely getting touched by that train hard, I reposted it on my Twitter, just Kush. Go watch it over there. Give you a little bit of context about why is everyone out here on a rail train as if they never seen a train in their lives. Why is all the cameras out? Why are they recording this historical moment on monday june 3rd crowds gathered by a railway in the town of nipola di viliagan it was in mexico basically to witness a vintage stream train travel through the area the train named the impress 2816 was part of cpkc's final spike steam tour which the ceo of this uh, train guy said the final spike anniversary stream tour will be First ever steam powered passengers train in North America to, to traverse Canada, the US, and the Mexico in a single trip. So the train started at Canada and wanted to make a stop in Mexico, and the last day of it was June 7th, which is today. And this woman in her 20s with her child were also there amongst the crowd to capture the historical moment, which I don't really understand. Why would you gather and film a train pass by like a train that was made, I believe it was 100 years old? Not to hate on the train people, but I don't get it. Like, okay, you film a selfie or you film a train pass by. What's the fucking hype about it? Holy shit, you won't believe what I've seen today. I saw a 100-year-old train went by that is definitely going to be a historical moment in my head now the woman was hit by one of the train's pistons and she got unalived right there and then like immediately just died local reports also said that the woman was with a young child at the time moments before being struck she told the child to stay low and away from the train that child was not injured in the incident yeah because guess what 
the child actually listen the irony in this you tell your child to stay away it's da it's a dangerous thing to do but then once you see an opportunity to get a viral clip you go and you want to take a selfie for it was it really worth it it's a very sad story god rest her soul i hope she's in a better place but it was something really dumb to do and i guess it's too late for her to realize it it was no there was no second chance in this even if you put a fucking rhino there with his head there trying to take a selfie with his animal phone he's gonna get fucking unalived immediately as well another thing i want to point out the shit that i mentioned at the beginning of the video this is her just unalived i'm gonna censor it and there are pe the people are still filming like nothing happened and this woman over here after she saw her on the ground just not moving at all what does she decide to do? Let me record this. That is unfortunately how things are nowadays. The phone is everything. And if one day for some reason you forgot how to swim or you never knew how to swim in the first place or you're in like a very deep ocean and you're screaming for help and there are people on a boat next to you exactly do not expect any help all you will find out is you making stupid faces and calling screaming like a bitch for help and you're going to be a whole joke on the internet after these people they get their two minutes of Vi viral clip then they are going to help you maybe 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 they want to film more we, we don't know until we find out one day if we're in any sort of like this type of situation now the rule for watching a train like close by is you need to stay at least 33 feet away from the tracks but unfortunately you lose track of your fov when you when you got the phone in your hand you don't know if you're that close or not and this is not the first time that I've seen like something like this happen. This happens in India all the time. This happens in other countries as well, where people try to take a selfie and they just get slapped at the back of their head by a train. And in most cases, it is 100% death. The operators of the train made a statement as well to Daily Mail. They said, we regret to share that a woman was fatally injured. Was my friend, she died. What do you mean injured while standing foul of passing train soon after it departed the station the municipality of uh the mexico this tragic incident is under investigation what, what do you mean the video is there no one pushed her what do you mean under investigation did the train go like at the, like just sw swiped a little bit left and right and just hit the people on purpose no the train it just goes in one direction and doesn't move. There's no investigation about this. The only guilt to people is the people who were there standing too close, risking their lives to capture a WhatsApp group video or an Instagram story or a viral TikTok video. And they are all guilty of being stupid. Some articles are claiming that this Mexican national was an influencer which is understandable because in 2024 everyone is an influencer and it kind of explains the selfie mode slow motion cap cup cap cut edit that she wanted to do maybe you got something on your nose i don't know what kind of edit she was going for but it is 100 percent a very sad thing for the for her son to see as well i can't imagine what the kid was going through hopefully they will get through it rest in peace to the woman gone too soon and what did we learn from this video if you're about to do some dumb shit for a tiktok viral clip it is not worth it just don't do it or if you do make sure it's dumb enough that it goes into this article so i can make a video about you anyways just wanted to share this story with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below take it for yourself i will see you at the next one